Okay, so um, today I'm here to present the work from our group, which is called a citation map, used to virtualize the spread of scientific ideas through space and time. So um, since I, we only have three minutes, so we will directly go to the, the video. <laughs> So it is. Uh, okay, that's great. So um, this addition map is used to virtualize how uh, scientific ideas are spread through space and time. The key idea is to virtualize how an idea is generated at one place of this world, and then it begins to spread through to different uh, places, different countries. So, um, so. In this map, you can first uh, we can we can first search like the keyword of a paper or the the name of an author. So, for example, let's begin to play. So, for example, here we try the uh, famous paper from Professor Mike Goodchild, the sequence of sensors. And then on the left part, you can see this a list of uh, candidate papers, and the first one is uh, what we want. And uh, if we click it, we can locate to the location of the first author. So now we go to our Santa Barbara campus. And, uh, and uh, in this pop-up window, you can see the detailed information of this author. So we can see the, which journal it is published, uh, and also which year it is published. And uh, on the right part, you can see the number of citations for this paper. Of course, this number is smaller than the real number of citations, since uh, we are using the data source from Microsoft Academic Search. They don't have a very complete citations. And uh, now we can click on the map citation button. And uh, now we can see these icons, which shows there are some people who cited the first paper. And uh, those icons, which are in light green, means the papers that are published earlier. And those papers, those icons, which are in dark green, means they are published recently. And uh, like you said, and uh, if you click on one of these icons, you can also see the detailed information about the author who cited the first paper. And uh, we... Give it two seconds. Sorry. And, and, uh, and we also summarize the uh, most frequent authors uh, who have cited the first paper most frequently. And if you can click on uh, one of these curves, you can see how many times this author have cited the first paper. So we're trying to use this map to um, evaluate, provide an alternative way to evaluate the influence of a researcher. So for example, if you have two papers, both of which have been cited 15 times, but the one being cited by mostly authors uh, locally or like your colleagues, but, uh, but uh, I think that's it. the other one is cited <laughs> just by the people all around the world. And that is, uh, their influence is different, so we can provide an alternative way to evaluate the influence of researchers. Sorry for taking time. <laughs>